Hi guys, I know it's been a while since I was able to sit down and kind of talk to you about my health and this discussion is about sarcoidosis in me and some new manifestations and um, I just want to take the time to share my experience with you. You just never know who you're going to be able to bless or inform or educate um, respective to what it is that you're going through. A lot of times we see doctors, and our doctors are very limited, they're general practitioners, they're family doctors, and they may not specialize in conditions such as sarcoidosis, and so they may have limited experience, exposure, or limited education around something like sarcoidosis. And sarcoidosis primarily is a respiratory disease disorder, and for something like that you need a respiratory disease doctor or team or lung specialist because sarcoidosis generally is discovered and takes root in the lungs and the way that they're able to diagnose it is by first giving you a chest x-ray to see exactly what's going on with your lungs and when they see the scar tissues there they go a little further and then they do biopsies or run different tests um, they can do even blood level and oxygen chat, um, test and uric acid test to really try to confirm for sure that it's sarcoidosis because there are so many different illnesses that kind of overlap one another in terms of uh, systemic you know um, issues that may be the same you could be diagnosed for fibromyalgia or lupus or sarcoid and have one or the other and for years think it's one thing and then later discover when you find a doctor that is well versed in what it is that you're going through and they're able to definitive definitively tell you no you actually have this you don't have that well uh, for me I was fortunate because it's really important to know what you're working with so that you can work with it so you can work with your body and your system and and be able to get things under control well for me um, I did some studying because I had family members and friends who had been diagnosed, diagnosed with it and I was able to really, really dig into what it was. So I kind of self-diagnosed um, as I was becoming sick, all of the symptoms that I was being tested for. The doctor wasn't talking about sarcoidosis, but as I heard about others and I realized what they were going through and I started saying to myself, whoa, this is me, this is me, this is me. I think this is what it is and lo and behold my doctor sent me to a respiratory disease specialist after discovering scar tissues on my x-rays for further evaluation and testing and I had the uric acid test I had the oxygen test and that the largest vein in your body I had a lung bi biopsy and all three confirmed that yes indeed I was suffering from sarcoidosis my symptoms at the time and if you look at any of my other discussions I'll tell you you know I had night sweats I had a consistent cough every morning as if I had bronch bronchitis it cleared up in the afternoon but in the morning lo and behold I would wake up coughing and gagging and I would produce like a little hard ball of mucus discolored like yellowish and I hate to be graphic but it's important to share so that people could say well wait a minute that's what I'm going through because you may not know what it is that you're going through and at least you could find out, you know, pass this information on to your doctor, rule it out or confirm that yes, this is what it is or this is not what it is. But for me, I had that consistent cough every morning, flu-like symptoms, you know, um, muscular and joint pain. And the pain would begin in a wrist and jump around to an elbow, get me, you know, in my back, uh, my right hip went out, I, it got so bad I couldn't even walk. It was just crazy and so you know just trying to understand do I have arthritis and then why is it like you know jumping around in my body to different places and you know it just was scary and you, you think to yourself oh god I just hope it's not cancer or I hope it's not you think of all of these horrible things to yourself you want to rule them out and just say oh well, thank god it's not that but at the end of the day whatever your prognosis is you have got to be a physician that heals yourself to treat yourself. What am I going through now? I am nauseous. And I am experiencing some vomiting. And I am experiencing um, nervous bowel syndrome. And so that means that when I'm agitated or my nerves 
are agitated, I wind up running and it's it's ridiculous, you know. And so, you know, as you look and you'll see, a doctor will tell you, no, that's not a part of sarcoidosis. I remember when my calves were swelling, they were so huge and hard, it looked like I was very muscular, but it was really out of proportion with my um, my thighs. They were huge. It didn't match. And indeed, it was a component of sarcoidosis. Now, my general practitioner was like, oh, no, that's not a symptom of sarcoid. And... You know, even my respiratory disease doctor said, but he was really open, he said, I, I've never heard of that with sarcoid, but let's look into it. And he did all kinds of testing to make sure I didn't have any issues with my veins and, you know, ruled out other things. And then he said, well, we'll treat it with steroids, and if it's sarcoid, it should go away. He treated it with steroids, and it did go away. So a lot of it is guessing. And then after about 10 patients come through with the same symptom, then they'll say, okay, this too is a part of sarcoidosis. Well, you know, um, you, you can Google and find that many people go through symptoms that you're going through while others go through different ones. But nausea and vomiting and, you know, um, issues with your bowels changing up on you are also symptoms of sarcoidosis. Now, I... I, I I do suffer with a lot of muscular and joint pain, but I have experienced firsthand relief from such pain by approaching it nutritionally. So we are what we eat. If I eat junk food, sweet sugar and stuff like that, instantly I feel pain. I'll get pain in my ankles, my knees, my hip etc yada 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 and my body responds I don't care if I empty myself for three months and then I give it a shot I feel slight pain if I stick to it I'll be back in chronic pain day after day after day so we really do have to become physicians that heal ourselves we really do play a major role in the healing process and we really can make a difference in how fast we're restored or not being restored at all and it, it's so important so now I need to understand why am I nauseous because this is not a symptom that I was used to dealing with and it's not a sugar thing, you know, but it's definitely a nerve thing, you know. I know that um, it's increased or heightened when I feel extreme stress. Hence, you are what you eat and what you eat is what you consume internally or what you invite or allow internally and that means in terms of what you eat palate pleasure or what you receive what you hear or what you deal with in your mind or where your spirit is you know and so my approach to this is going to be meditation relaxation deep breathing and elimination of stressors it is really important that we set the tone, the environment, and the standard for our healing process. And so, for me, I, I, um, I, I take it very seriously, and it's really important to me. And I'm going to continue to share with you to let you know how I'm doing and how I'm progressing. But if you have been diagnosed with sarcoidosis, and you're dealing with nausea and vomiting or issues with nervous bowel syndrome, you know, drop a comment, let me know, let's talk and share an exchange. And I will say this, you will, you need to pay attention to your symptoms and what's going on prior to the onset of such symptoms and how it fizzles out when the environment changes, if you know what I mean. So, at the end of the day, we still have to be chief operating officer of our health. So we must be officers. So I implore you to take your health very seriously, invest in making the difference so that you can feel better. It is important that you get adequate rest, that you get, you know, a good, um, a good approach to exercising it's not always easy when you're in chronic pain and when you're tired and fatigued and, and that's another thing I'm going through you know um, my energy goes up and it goes down but you know we although we do all of these things sometimes we may have setbacks and, and we can't think
think to ourselves that you know we're being punished or we've punished ourselves by not treating ourselves right health wise but just understand that it's our cross to bear you know and God is in charge and he's in control and if healing is a process or if it's a miracle for you just allow God to work that thing in you and through you because he understands best the whys and the whatnots you know so don't worry about why you're sick or if you're very prayerful and very focused and positive and giving you know um, why am I sick again God is the knower of all things and he has a purpose for all things and although it is not his will that we be afflicted with sickness you know sometimes we would not align with our life calling and purpose or we would not be the person that we are absent the affliction and so some of us are going to have to suffer we are partakers in the suffering Christ suffered we have to suffer too life is not just going to be a bowl of cherries for all of us but as for me I'm learning to thank God you know uh, for even the struggles even in my health because I don't know that I'd be here having this discussion with you if I were not stricken with sarcoidosis. And so I know that I've had so much feedback from others who have been inspired and been able to be blessed by my discussions respective to sarcoid and approaches to healing and restoration. And so I'm here and I thank God that he chose me to be here to have this discussion because not everybody is willing to do it or going to do it or called to do it. But I'm here. So I will keep you posted as to how I'm doing and uh, what methodologies I'm using to change the game where it is right now. But my message to you is hang in there, hold out, physician heal yourself, be involved in the process. It's your cross to bear. Trust God and allow him to use you for his glory. Take care. Again, I'm Sonia Ward. You can find me at www.soniawardempowers.com. Thank you and God bless.